while we're bailing. <laughs> what do you think, Boo? Unamused. Hey, hey, we're gonna bail some hay today, guys. I mean, is it any different than any other day around here? sure where he wants us to go. But I am not looking forward to um, failing that hillside. You're a good boy, aren't you? What do you think, Boo? Are you unamused? You're gonna have to learn to sit down. He doesn't like you. He'll like you in a few months. Oh, it's so rough, isn't it? You're all right. Yes, you are. You're all right. I have a puppy problem. I have a baby problem. It's just how it goes, right? I just love a good baby that has four legs. Anyway, been to the vet. We picked up this little girl. Um, all the things. So we just want to make sure she was all right. Checked over. I know. I know. It's okay. Um, so we're headed home. Ryder's not fond of her. It's just what it is. You're all right. Um, headed home. Probably gonna drop them off at the house. I don't know if she'll go with me in the tractor today or not. We'll just we'll see. Um, but we're bailing. Uh, we're making real uh, big champion lunches today. Peanut butter and jelly for Jason. Protein shake for me. I know it's amazing. You all want to be just like us, right? All right, ready to go to the tractor? Roxy, are you excited about being a hay dog? Hmm? Are you hot? What do you think, baby? So for many of you that have been with us the last few weeks realize this is the second puppy I've had in less than four, for a month. Um, we lost Reese after only five days with her, but this one um, was definitely a godsend. And it just timed out, and it was exactly what we've been looking for. She's red, obviously. So, really just want good genetics, and um, she's went through all the AKC stuff, so. Yes. You good, Boo? Jason's been working on getting his big square lined out. We're gonna start straw this week. Should start straw this week. Okay, we're in my spaceship today. Um, was kind of hoping that Jason would have time to make a mount for you guys, but he has not yet, so you guys are just kind of chilling. Oh man. 
It's a little bit rough. We're embracing the natural gray. I'm not sure I'm embracing anything because the closer I get to my birthday, the older I'm feeling and it's just, yeah. Okay. Twine duty. yesterday um, the hay gods are working in our favor today because typically we cannot mow and then bale it just doesn't work for us that way but it is today I think it's because we're just trying to time things just right before we go get busy and straw Jason and Ryder are raking Roxy and I are baling and uh, we'll just crank them out I'll be honest, I have not got to run the rake. I've been busy being in the tractor baling. Um, so I don't know how it is, but so far on the baling aspect, I really like the rake. Uh, the windrows seem to be taller and more fluffier. It's also allowing us to rake and bale a little bit sooner. Uh, today it's two o'clock when we're getting out here just because we've had a lot going on this morning. I obviously was dealing with puppies and vets and Jason had to actually go and deliver some hay. So we're a little bit later than we anticipated, but that's why like this rake is really nice for us because we don't have to sit and let it air. Like it's airing as we are raking it. Um, I'll try to talk about that a little bit more as I get into it, but it's kind of hard to talk and bail and try to get done in a timely matter because at the end of the day, I'm still a mom and we have baseball game tonight for Keaton. So I still have to do all the things that moms do, even though I'm a farmer. I mean, this is the life that we we really love and enjoy, but it can be, can be wearing on me at times because I I get a little bit of mom guilt because I'm, I'm not doing something I need to be like yesterday. Jalen didn't feel very well. She didn't want to be at home. She didn't want to be with my mom or Jason's mom. She wanted to be right with me. And even though she slipped, the four and a half hours that we mowed yesterday, uh, it still made me feel bad because, you know, she was riding around the tractor all day. She didn't feel good, and, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm still mom. Still mama. Still gotta do what I need to do as a farmer, as a business partner for Jason. So just thankful to have tractors with cabs and AC and being able to take the kids with us as much as we can because for Keaton, when Jason and I first got together, Keaton was only two and Jason had him. Jason took him all the time and they were not in always closed tractors. They were, you know, on, they were on open stations and that's just, that's how Jason and I were raised. So that's pretty much how we're raising our kids. It's right next to us in windrows and tractors and doing the same thing we love because someday we would love for them to take it over. And if they don't want to, and that's okay too, because we're not forcing them. You know, when they want to be out here with us, that's because they truly want to be out here with us. It's not because we're forcing them to help us. They, they, they honestly want to be out here. Sometimes Keaton gets a little frustrated because he does have to go to his dad's and uh, isn't always here for some of the stuff that we do, like working cattle. It's just the way it falls. So we got to do stuff when we can. And unfortunately, he's not always here for it. But tomorrow he will be. So he will be droning. He'll be raking. He'll be helping do all the things. He, has been very blessed because he gets to run the 120 which all this happened like this Massey really this Massey deal is a blessing because it gives Keaton an opportunity to run a tractor that uh, he typically he wouldn't die. I don't know if it'll happen but I did ask Jason to video while he was raking because I can't rake and bail at the same time not very well anyway my part
this is probably the only downside of the accumulator, okay? You have to clean it out if you break a bale. Are you being a good little girl? Yes, you are. All right, let's get back to work. So not very often that I am waiting for him to make windrows, but with this rake and the way the weather is, as you can see, it's very windy, so the windrows are kind of floating around, but... He's always interrupting my thoughts. It's real handy that I don't have to clutch. Like, if you hit the brake, it'll put it in neutral for you. There's a lot of fancy options on this baler, or on this baler, on this tractor that I'm still getting used to. It is probably way fancier than what I need for the tractor, but it is absolutely amazing. It's quiet, it's comfortable, this buddy seat is phenomenal, not that I get to sit in it very often, but it is nice. Like. This is like being spoiled with a tractor, not gonna lie. You guys, the way we're raking today is so confusing me. Like I can't like keep up with his rows today. This is not typically how we rake. I also don't typically chase him down the wind row either. What do you think, little one? I haven't heard much out of her. I've kind of realized that I just stopped talking to everybody, but that's just because I got busy and I uh, was listening to an audiobook and just simply taking time to enjoy the day and not feel stressed or as stressed as I can feel. But we're just bailing and Jason's getting ready to bring the skid loader over. I don't see him yet must not be here yet. I have come to realize that I am missing the stroke counter something fierce right now. Because I have no idea how many's out here. No clue. We've just been um, keeping track after each day off the baler because we reset, re eh, if I could talk, we reset the baler every year. So we don't reset it each bale count, like each bale day, we just reset it once a year. And now we kind of have to keep track on our own because it's not working. And the one that he wants is out of stock. I know you guys ask a lot about the bail counter. We've had it for years. It was so handy. We were able to definitely know each day how many we did. And now we're just having to like keep track on um, pen and paper, the old fashioned way. I'm glad he's not making me do it the old, old way, the way he used to do it. Because he used to have like a little clicker counter in here. And every time you'd set a grab, then he'd be like, okay, how many grabs is that? And I'd always forget to click it. I did have to change one of the features that Sean set up the other day in the tractor because I kept shearing bolts the other day, clogging it up because I would hit the brake. So when it would hit the brake, it would put it in neutral, which would be all fine and dandy, and that was great. But the problem was it was rerouting it back to um, 2A. And if y'all have ever rebailed bales, you all know you do not want to be in 2A doing a rebale. So I had to take that off today. 
which was just like flipping through the settings. I'm not even sure how I did it, to be honest. I need to figure. This screen's a lot, but it's a learning. It's a learning curve, isn't it, Rox? So I was chatting on Instagram with somebody and it sparked this like thought process um, because I've gotten questions about um, the whole tractor situation with like the new one, we just bought one, etc. Well, we probably would not have bought a brand new one had interest rates not been 0% for that. To buy a used piece of equipment right now is very high. So like if you can make it into your budget and work around things to buy new versus old, you really need to play with numbers. And that's what farming is. Farming is a number game. And if you don't pencil penny things, it's, it might not work. So he wanted me to check counter so he knew how many trucks to bring with him. I think we're less than 700 on that other side. And honestly guys, our hay production, while it's still quality hay, it's just not a lot of it. Usually we have 1,200 bales over there and we put up, we can put up 6,000 in this area on this, this one set of fields, but it's just, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen this year. We're about half to two thirds what we normally get. And that stinks because hay is our livelihood and what we do and how we pay our bills. So, yeah. And actually this is really good quality hay. Off centered here. This is probably the best hay we'll have for first cut. Jason put in this camera setup for me in my Midland. Uh, this handy dandy thing would actually have a camera port for it, but we gotta get the plug for it, and we haven't done that yet. It's supposed to come with the baler, but I can I have fingertips all right here. It's if I know what I'm doing, but sometimes I don't. But you can change all this kind of the valves like I'm only using the front the one up and down hydraulic um, clearly it's set for GPS but we don't use it so I was really hoping to have our new baler today but uh, for this field but I don't think it's gonna happen and I'm not even sure it's gonna make it here before we do straw Knocked your head against the window. Sorry, guys. So we did mow this yesterday. Believe it or not. We mowed it early enough in the day so they had plenty of dry time all yesterday afternoon. And then all day today. It's not quite six. I'm gonna have to shut down here soon so I can make Keaton's game. I probably should slow my roll because uh, I'm notorious for getting pay, pay tickets. If you know, you know. But these windrows are nice and tall and fluffy, which is supposed to eliminate the whole clogging, plunging sheer bolting issue. Uh, this is what happens when you get a ticket. In the hay world. <laughs> 